Hi, everyone. Um, in mathematics, we're often asked to give our answers back as a simplified fraction. And so I'm just going to take a couple of minutes and show you how to reduce a fraction on a calculator and get back your answer in fraction form. I want to show you quickly how to do some things on a calculator. Uh, first, we'll go to a scientific calculator, and I just wanted to show you how to reduce fractions on there and get back fractions. So if you have a harder fraction, um, that you would, might be able to reduce it. So say if I have 24, right, so first we'll turn our calculator on. We should always clear to make sure there's not something sitting in there. And say I have 24 over 30. So punch it in as a division problem, 24 divided by 30. It will give you a decimal, and now you want to turn this decimal to a fraction. On this particular calculator, the function you need is up above your button. So you're going to do second, and we're going to do this one, the PRB button, but it's fraction to a decimal, back and forth there, above it. We're doing the function above it, so we punch that and then punch enter, and our fraction is four-fifths. Let's try one more. Uh, we will clear first, and let's try one that we know is going to give us a repeating decimal. Um, if we do two six, if we do two divided by six, sorry, by six, two divided by six, gives us 0.33. So to get a repeating decimal back into a fraction, you're going to go the same route. So second and our PRB button up above it is the function we're doing by hitting that second. And then enter and it gives us back one third. All right, so we'll do one more that is just a higher fraction. Say if I have 452 divided by 504. We wouldn't want to try to reduce that by hand. So we'll get a decimal. We will do second and we'll change it back to a fraction. 113 over 126. So this can be a nice tool. Now let's have a look at a graphing calculator and how to change a fraction back to a decimal. So I believe we did 24 over 36. We'll do that again. So first turn your calculator on and we punch it in 24 divided by 36. Enter gives our decimal. If we want to get that back to a fraction, you're going to go under your um, math menu. And your first one will take something back to a fraction. It's already on that, so you can just click Enter and click it again. There you go. Um, so 2, 6 was the other one we did. Uh, I'll clear this so I don't have too much on there. 2 divided by 6. Enter. Math menu. On the first one, that's your choice. Hit Enter. And there you're back to a fraction. So that is reducing a fraction.